I'm going to show you how to make tokens where the actor, um, the art, breaks the frame of the token. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, you have to have tokenizer installed for starters and have some art ready to go. Uh, so, uh, here we have tokenizer, and we're not going to worry about the avatar, just the token. So, clear as much as it lets us. Uh, upload an image from your computer. Um, and try to set it up so that it fills the frame uh, roughly the way that you would want it to... So that everything that you, you want to appear is within the frame. Um, let's go with this for this one. Normally I would have it zoomed more in on uh, the character's face, but in this case I really want to get these uh, wings <coughs> in the frame. So um, we'll have it set up like that. Uh, and then we're going to... Oh, and in order to move it, uh, you uh, unlock the the layer uh, with the, the padlock there. Um, then you can add a frame. Uh, I have a suitable one down here somewhere. Um, and now we can sort of see just by changing their relative position that this isn't going to break the frame quite as much as I want. So I think I actually want to zoom in a little farther. Um, that'll probably work a little bit better. Um, and put it back where it was. So, um, now we have the art and it's bordered by the frame. Uh, what we're going to do is create a copy of the art um, that's going to sit above the frame. But the first thing we're going to do is with that new copy, which is now layer zero, uh, we're going to click on the masking button on that layer uh, and choose zero. Um, and it has to be source over and source in. So this is, means that <coughs> the um, layer one is going to cover up uh, layer zero. Um, or mask it, rather. Um, and what we're going to do now is change the areas that are allowed <coughs> to break out of the frame, to, a, to, to, to designate the areas that are allowed to break out of the frame. And we do that by clicking the pencil uh, right here um, in the, the same masking dropdown that we set zero in. So we click that, <coughs> and in here we can uh, just use the brush to paint over all the things that are currently hidden, but that we actually want shown. Uh, you just uh, click and drag uh, to paint. Uh, you can increase the size of the brush by scrolling up or decrease it by scrolling down. And you just, I'm going to do a very rough look at this. Um, so we've got this wing here. Increase the size of my brush so that I can catch the inside faster. Uh, and we're going to want to do the same for the other wing. Maybe shrink my brush a little bit. A little bit. Now, the... I've caught things in here that I don't necessarily want, so if I hold down Shift or right-click, I can erase. Oops. I can erase elements from the mask, um, such as these areas that aren't actually wing. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, and I can't remember whether the top of the head was obscured or not, so we'll catch that while we're at it. Um, shrink this down so that I can get the ear a little better. And that'll just do for our, our quick and dirty mask. Uh, you'll want to be more precise about the outlines when you're doing a real thing. 
Um, but uh, once we're done with that, we just hit apply. And now, as you can see, the wing is breaking out of the token frame. Um, and then you can just um, apply it as is if it's your own copy of Foundry or you have uh, write permission to the, uh, the file system or you can download the file by clicking the download button in the lower left, saving it to your computer. Uh, and then my recommendation would be putting it on uh, an image hosting site like postimage.cc or uh, Imager and then putting the link in uh, where appropriate. You know, the actor tab, you'd put it here. That's shift click on the image to open this up and then paste the address in there. Uh, or go to uh, for the token, you go to prototype token appearance and set the image path as the URL right there. And that should do it. Hope this is helpful.